Hey, what up YouTube? It's your boy Bouchon Glover. Better Black America TV with a reaction to the Lakers and Clippers. Sunday 12:30 game yesterday. And I was up pretty early this morning and I uh got up and I wanted to watch the sports shows because on Friday the debate was, you know, would LeBron James go 0 for 2 against the arguably the two best teams in all of basketball, the Milwaukee Bucks, who have the best record. And then the Los Angeles Clippers, who actually on the season has a 2-0, uh, who had a 2-0 record against the Lakers as a Friday. The debates was on. Skip and Shannon was going at it. Yeah. First take, Max Kellerman and Stephen A. was going at it. But LeBron James came up you know, to beat both those teams and clearly look like the best player on the court against both teams. Now on Friday, you know, he was too much. 37 points. His efficiency was high. He shot a very high percentage on the free throw line and he looked looked like he modified his, uh, the way he shoots free throws. Uh, he takes a little pause and recaptures, recaptures the rhythm of his shot. But um, did pretty good. And then when he doubled down and what the Lakers did to the Clippers on Sunday. Now, what the Lakers did to the Clippers on Sunday, a lot of people didn't expect it. But, you know, like I said, I was up early and I watched these shows so I can actually uh, see if these professional sports analysts saw what I saw. Because pretty much I watched the game with the purpose of doing a, uh, a reaction and analyzing and uh, what I saw. And I haven't seen anyone spin it this way, but the X factor, it's always an X factor in the game. You know? And Avery Bradley had 24 points. He, was, uh, he made six three-pointers. You know, and the Lakers got the best dynamic duo. That's the one thing that I want to point out, that the Lakers has the best duo in all of basketball. You can't tell me Kawhi and Paul George are the best two-way players. They, they, they can't do anything because neither one of them can stop LeBron James or AD, but LeBron James and AD have the capability of stopping Paul George as well as Kawhi Leonard. Now, Kawhi got LeBron on a couple lunch plays, but when LeBron locked in and stayed on his feet, it looked like Kawhi was kind of confused. And for Kawhi Leonard to not have one assist, that has to be a red flag. But the difference makers, I already said one of the X factors was Avery Bradley scoring 24 points and hitting six three-pointers, but the X factor was Patrick Beverly getting socked in the mouth, literally, by the whole Lakers squad and basically getting punked out. Because literally, uh, Patrick Beverly, you know, he has a nuisance style and he likes to, uh, you know, be a pest. And then sometimes after the plays, he'll snatch the ball out your hands and kind of get your mind, try to try to get in your head. That's what players that's not really talented have to do to actually compete. But in this scenario, he snatched the ball out of LeBron's hand. LeBron bowed him in his mouth, got a technical foul. And then your boy Avery Bradley, who actually played for the Clippers, you know, who who career is based off of defense pretty much shut him down and then offensively had him chasing him around the court and Patrick Beverly only ended up with two points and then you throw in sweet Lou Lou Williams who usually come in and you know basically you know be the Terry Rozier type player come in in instant offense but when you come in the game and you can't get comfortable because on the defensive end you're chasing and Looked like the Lakers took advantage of whoever uh, Lou Williams was guarding. They basically took him to the hole, set hard screens, and physically just dominated the Los Angeles Clippers. So the first game when the Lakers played the Clippers, a lot of people were saying the Clippers have this edge over the Lakers, but it was the first game that AD and LeBron James actually played together. And now that they have added pieces to their roster, they created a team who can actually specifically beat the Clippers as well as the Milwaukee Bucks 
as well as the Boston Celtics and as well as the Toronto Raptors or the Philadelphia 76ers. Because when the Lakers, they acquired Marquise Morris and when they took out, uh, we called him Grady, <laughs> AKA Shaq and the Fool. <laughs> when they took him out and they put in Marquise Morris and Dwight Howard really didn't get those minutes because the Clippers usually destroyed Dwight Howard. He's the X factor, but when they put in Marquise Morris and the Lakers went small and was still big, I was like, wait a minute, they are onto something right here. They are onto something. And if they keep this up, LeBron James will win the trifecta. And that will be the NBA Finals, the crown that will win the championship. League MVP and as well as Finals MVP. So that's a prediction. Uh, LeBron will get the trifecta, but clearly the Clippers, you know, in the words of Denny, of Denny Green, rest in peace, the Clippers, they were who we thought they were. Couldn't rock with them Lakers. You're about to make me cuss. Because what I saw, I'm, I'm saying like, if, if that's the blueprint, now you can't expect Avery to score 24 points every game, but LeBron, Anthony Davis, you know, they're going to do what they do. And they have the capability with their role players and uh, Danny Green and uh, Kuzma could go for 30. Uh, Caruso, he could get you 16 or even 20. You know, KCP, he could do his thing as well. So the Lakers are pretty much in a good place right now. And uh, clearly they're the favorite. And if you bet on that game yesterday, the Clippers had a uh, were favored by four points. And uh, so if you bet on the Lakers, you got your bread yesterday. But uh, that was some good basketball. So hopefully the Lakers keep it up. And it looked like uh, LeBron James is taking it to another level because when he goes up there and shoots within the last, uh, was that the last two to three games when he modified his free throws, he's shooting over 80%. And he's now over the league average, averaging uh, 70 uh, 72, 73% overall when he was in the 60s. So, Lake Show, baby. So, that was my reaction to the Lakers putting hands on the Clippers and pretty much setting the tempo from a physicality perspective and busting Patrick Beverly in his mouth <laughs> and shutting Lou down. You know, but the Lakers, man, hey, hey, sky's the limit. So, we back on, baby. With that being said, this is your boy, Bouchon Glover with the Lakers versus Clippers reaction on YouTube. Peace out, and I'll see you. Hey, subscribe, and uh, hey, we're going to keep this party going with this content. So y'all have a good day. Lake Show, baby. Peace out.